This session will review how job coaches can get to know the business before supporting students. There are several aspects to take into account when getting to know the business. These include the physical space, the work area, and work culture. As a job coach, you are the lead person to make this job a success for students. Therefore, doing a little work before the student starts the job will help everyone start off on the right foot. The key elements in communication to a successful job begin with the employee and their needs. Also support from their work coworkers, the design of the job that meets the student's skills and abilities, and fitting into the work culture. Finally, the support of a worksite supervisor. Getting an understanding of this before a student sets foot in a job will help alleviate nerves, support a student getting off on the right foot, and support the business in feeling comfortable. The first thing to consider is physical space. Think of physical space as how the student will get to and also get around the business. So this sec section would be looking at transportation. How will the student arrive at the job? The entrance, where will the student enter the job? And finally, accessibility around the workspace. Are there any accessibility concerns that will need to be addressed prior to the student beginning work? The next area to consider will be the student's work area. Think about this as the area the student will be in and where they will be completing their work. What does the workspace look like? What are their working conditions? Think about noise, temperature, space, as well as what items will they need to bring so that they are prepared to do their work. The next section to consider is the culture of the workplace. Think of culture as the unwritten rules, the things that the student may have a hard time picking up on and may need assistance from you. Some examples of workplace culture are dress up days, such as wearing Packer attire on Fridays some different traditions that occur within a business, such as coworkers taking turns bringing in treats for a staff birthday or having different parking spots based on their job. Other things to consider may be break times and how workers may go by seniority. And finally, are there any slogans or things that will be said to the customer that the student may need some support picking up? You will be a great support to the student to become acclimated and stay successful as they are doing the work within a business. To help support this, be mindful, authentic, logical, and be the example for the student by also fitting into the workplace culture. To support this, we know that preparation is key. Before you step in the door, know as much as possible that you can about the business. Visit the website for their mission, history, values, expectations, partnerships, and goals. Talk to friends and families and other people about the business to see what information they can provide you. Look at the business's social media to get a good feel of what the business type is and what is the feel of the business. And finally, meet with the supervis supervisor to gain insight for their expectations of the new employee. Knowing the business allows you to be able to establish relationships for yourself as well as the students. That trust piece will help the student excel in their job. This is important because having an understanding of this before the student goes into work is going to help the student feel more a part of the team build stronger relationships with their coworkers, be more productive in the workplace, and have a stronger chance for a good review or a promotion. To help you prepare for getting to know the business, please complete the checklist that is included with this material. This will help you go through each of the sections that we just discussed and take notes so that you can get a better understanding for the business. Thank you.
and good luck as you are reaching out and helping support students on the job.